Masty baby, hello, my old friend. It's been a while. This, I, th I would say that this run is now officially better than 77, based solely on the fact that we have a shell armor slowpoke. So, surf, crunch. Okay, call mine there is a little awkward, but probably fine. Nice, good hit. Perfect. Okay, so this is Giga Drain Earthquake. Or Calm Mind. It could be Body Slam from Jira. Does Sharpedo have a kill? It does with black glasses on Jira. And I am actually exactly one speed point faster. The problem is the Zatu KO. Yeah, Zatu has a crit kill. I don't think it's ever Earthquake, right? Can I go Magneton Mens? I think it's Mens Scizor, to be honest. The damage ranges are the same on both here, so it doesn't matter like what I switch to. Or what slot goes to what. Priority is to kill the Jira to make it a 2v1. Okay, yeah, there's the Earthquake. The thing I'm scared of is double Psychic on Mens. So I think I stay in with Scizor, target the Jira, and switch Mens for Abzol. Fly is pretty good here. Gives us a kill on Zatu next turn. I think this is Fly. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is actually what I was afraid of. I might have just killed my mens. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't know what I was th what I was thinking would happen instead. For some reason, I thought scissor plus mens would just kill it then, but. Okay, I mean. Not much else to do here, right? He needs to target the Mens and then crit it, but... He also needs to hit the crit range. Okay, easy. And he needs to not call mind. It was pretty low risk, but completely unnecessary still. That's fun. That must have been like a 1 in... If I'm generous, 1 in 64 to lose mens. Probably closer to like 1 in 90. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm pretty sure I f***ed this up, but... We got this, I'm sure. Surely we got this. Pog. Superpower. Switch to Scizor. Nice. Hey, there's this show called Scrubs. I saw a blurry this actor in the psychic and fake that out. reminded me of you, as well as the title. We don't want to kill anything here. So we're just gonna steel wing the Hitmonlee. It's probably fine if I get the kill though. So what happens if I get the kill? Like what happens if Fake Out goes on Polyrath? He goes Armaldo, I have this out. He's guaranteed to X scissor this and he's guaranteed to Ice Beam it. Which means I can go Magneton. That's okay. I'm just gonna X scissor to be honest. It's fine. And now this is Ice Beam and High Jump Kick, so we go Starmie, Air Slash the Lee. Mm. 
No crits, easy, easy. Okay, now we just Steel Wing Psychic. That's fine, I have Lum. Okay, wonderful. How do we set this up now? Because, again, I don't actually... It's fine though, right? I just go Magneton, kill Jinx. Wait, what's the correct items? This is a range to kill, but it doesn't matter. Because Scizor outspeeds. Executor, right? Right? Yeah, okay. Okay, got the kill. Oh my god, okay, that was so f stressful to plan for. Alright. Blastoise is in Hitmonchan fake out range in case Swallow crits the slacking. This is in Hitmonchan brick brick range, so um, Hitmonchan can't fake out Swallow. Should all be good. So fake out and facade. Yep. And then it's, oops. Switch Blastoise for Magneton. Facade slacking, bait the Hitmonchan. Espeon loafs. Pretty sure Espeon is forced to toxic the Hitmonchan this turn, so we just Thunderbolt. We facade. Yep. Alright, all according to plan. Switch for Sharpedo. Facade. Check this Alakazam speed real quick. Okay. Nice! Swallow makes another appearance. That guy is basically mini Norman, except it's even easier, which is surprising that that's possible. Okay. Okay, all according to plan. So this goes to Mizzy. This goes to Sharpedo. Man, I think Scizor is taking too much damage here. It's Kinda too late. I could sack Octillery. I guess Octo technically helps us capture Lapras, but we don't really care about that, to be honest. I gotta play it safe and sack Octillery here. It's fine. But if if Scizor gets crit by Grumpig here, I'm pretty sure it will die. I, I'm not I'm not 100 percent out of a critly. I'm not sure what the percentages are, but I only get one of the fossils underwater this run. But the Lapras really isn't that important, and I think Octillery has served its purpose here, so... Yeah, this is the play. Sorry, boys. If you hadn't call mine twice here, I wouldn't have to do this, but... Hero.
Okay, and now I think we're Gucci. Sizzle or, or um, hit on top will rock to him once, but he didn't really care. Oh, we might actually care. I mean, I gotta go for it anyway, right? Oh, he bulked up. Nice. Oh, easy. Okay. Mizzy is slower now, right? He actually can't target Mizzy. I guess him targeting Scizor is a little bit awkward, but not really a big deal. Scizor is currently at full attack, right? So, men switch... ...and leave this alive. Just go X Scissor. Oh, f***ing, I forgot that it gets attack. Or that it gets defense. This is two bulk ups in, right? Bit of a misplay. It's plus one attack, plus two defense right now. Um, And Mence will be slower than T-Tar. Oh man, this is... Awkward. Mens can't die here, but it will be... It wants to rock to Mens. And I don't really have a good switch. I guess I can go Mizzy. I should have air slashed with Scizor. Oh boy, here we go. I'm pretty sure he's always rock tombing Mens here. Oh, but Mizzy can die to crit. Okay, so I think I have to attack. And then figure out a plan from there. I think this isn't terrible. Flinch? Or crit? I actually did more than I thought I would. This is still really awkward though. Mens was safe from crit there. Yeah, so this is really awkward. So Mens is slower. He sees an AP kill. I think it has to be Ninetales sack, unfortunately. And then I win. Mizzy dies to crit. I f***ed it up because I didn't play into bulk up from Hitmontop. Yeah, the, the X scissor was the f*** up because I didn't realize he was plus defense. That was just a misplay. Yeah, I still have Magmar, which is essentially the same Pokemon. Oh, what a stupid mistake. Okay, X scissor for the crit chance here. I mean, Ninetales always dies anyway, but... Damn, Ninetales actually has a pretty okay chance to live, which might actually not be that good. Come on. I believe in you. Chat believes in you, Jan. He ice beamed. Nice. That was also always an option. I mean, this isn't amazing. <laughs> um, because this is straight AP, right? But even if he AP boosts, at least with this, even if he AP boosts, I. Um, I survive. I could get burn. Scizor into Mens. Ooh, that's actually saves nine tails. Eight months paying for ads. But I think I die to Omni Boost, right? Am I dead to Omni Boost either way is the question. It, it'll come down to a 50-50 no matter what. In that case, I'm flamethrowering, because I don't need the extra damage. I knew, I don't know. If I, the thing is, my preparation was fine. I just didn't execute it well. Hi. In Christ, dude.
Burn chance didn't matter because of Lumberry, by the way. Whew. Nine tails over leveled. Yeah, I needed to air slash the hip on top. And then we would have been fine. Totally, completely fine result there, though. Completely fine. Um, like scissors and ice beam. Their song is, in fact, down, but we do not give a f just to kill this. Nice. And we are free to switch. Okay, just keep track of our, um... Our song counters... We can stay in for a turn here. And switch. Four months off. And... Stay in for a turn. Don't fly. <laughs> and switch. we go. Wow, very hard. All right, boys. All right, then. Mates. All right, mates. Good luck, then, innit? So, Earthquake. Switch to Gengar. Should be Brick Break on Gengar. Let's see if we hit the range. It's like 75%. Didn't get it, but that's fine. Okay, so this is switch. Yeah, switch golem for Mizzy and just shadow ball the Metagross. I mean, this is fine. Yeah, I think Gengar almost always imprisons here. And my Gengar is faster, so my shadow ball will go off before you can. Imprison me. I'm pretty sure my Gengar is faster. Gengar is really unlikely to die here. Okay. Nice. So now it's just double psychic. So that's completely fine. Um, I should not take a switch here. This needs to die this turn. XP is totally fine. Okay, so this is... Um, Mens and Cast Form, right? Okay. And now this is Dawnfan and Air Slash. Can I die? Wait, is Castform even dead? Might have to switch Mence out here. I think going Mence was a mistake. Because now that he's intimidated, he doesn't actually see the kill. Hold on. Yeah, he has a couple of crit ranges here. Oh no, he doesn't actually. Heist is 177. Okay. So it's switched to... I think it's Gengar, right? I think it's this. The Intimidate kind of f me, actually. This could have been way easier. Oh, that's a really good crit. So we just Psychic. I guess we Nightshade. And we Air Slash.
absolutely beautiful. Um, is this faster? And there we go! Going to TNL, boys. Lost one mon to these trainers, but it was an artillery, so who gives a sh**? <laughs> this run... A little bit better than 77. A little bit better, which is why... Instead of zero bombs on Tate and Lies, I'm taking a huge risk in a pretty close fight. We're gonna end this one pretty quickly. 151, baby! It's all fireworks to the Elite Four. Almost like a victory lap, you could say. We need this Latias to die to the 81% range of Gengar. That is the important part. If that happens, we're super fine. Just, just super fine. I'm gonna pause a little bit for this fight. For the YouTube frogs. Let us not delay any further. So there's like about a 10% chance to get super f by AI here and the fight is actually really difficult. There's a 20% chance that we get by the range, um, which is fine, but there's also just an 80% chance that we just take this easy peasy. So we're going to self-destruct and we're going to explode. So Cloyster cannot get crit there because it's shell armor, and we kill the Latias! Alright! And Cloyster can't get targeted by Latias there in case it survives because it always sees the kill on Gengar. And now watch this. Watch this. Watch how f***ing beautiful this is. Gardevoir in. Oh, so slot 2 was correct. Yeah. I mean, no, that was the Latias slot, right? Yeah, so I go this now. Now this is always Metacham. Yeah, okay. So we could have gotten away either if Latias hadn't died. This could have been Metacham Latias in this spot. And just like that, we turn a 6v6 into a 4v2. <sighs> Power of Explosion in Gen 3, baby. <laughs> There's a reason it doesn't work like that in other gens. <laughs> Alright, so this is just Raichu. And we just kill the Starmie here. Thunderbolts, Shadow Ball. I'm not gonna volt tackle there because I don't need to. Take the recoil. Definitely not worth it. Shout out to Peach Al Daily. Remember to subscribe. Okay, this is where things can go really wrong. We are not f yet. Okay. So, I think this is Dawn Fan Switch. Um. It could be Dawn Fan and Men Switch, right? I think that makes the most sense. There's one more turn for him to AP boost. Skill swap him. <laughs> to skill swap levitate on him, guys. So my Dawn Fan can't earthquake. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure this is double switch here. And then we earthquake flamethrower. Um, hold on. We want the Raichu slot to be Dawn Fan because that's the one that's most likely to be ancient powered. I believe. Hold on. I'm pretty sure that makes sense. Is Men's dead to crit? Yeah. We could stay in with Mizzy here, I guess. That's pretty okay. The reason I want to get Dawn Fan out as soon as possible is to stop this guy from using Ancient Power. And we're going to Shadow Ball. Actually, yeah, Mizzy is faster here, right? So this is actually a kill with Dawn Fan.
Ooh, that's really nice. Okay, there's the Meteor Mash on the Mizzy. We might lose it here, might lose our last Ghost type. That is an attack boost. But he got the defense drop. So I'm pretty sure this is Raichu Switch. Okay, so this this could be Ancient Power, which is still kind of scary. The defense drop is huge here because it ensures that Earthquake always kills. I'm pretty sure this is just Raichu Switch. Um, if Raichu dies, it's whatever. It's kind of useful for Hideout, but not as useful as the other two. Um, I don't think there's any other play here. Raichu is always going to die no matter what he uses here. I believe. Yeah. Get your F's out for Raichu, boys. I'm sorry if you believed. Um, Mence is way too risky. There's no reason to risk a 1 in 16 on Mence if I can just sack a Raichu here. Absolutely no reason. <sighs> Let's think about Pain Split, I guess. Because I'm willing to risk Mizzy on a crit. So if I, if I know Pain Split correctly, it's my max HP plus their max HP divided by 2 is my new HP, correct? So it's 187 plus 241 divided by 2. Oh yeah, current HP, obviously. Sorry. 61 plus 241 divided by 2. Leaves me at 151 HP, which happens to be my attempt number, and Meteor Mash will always kill from there. However, he does see a kill currently with Ancient Power, and that's it. So it'd be a 50-50 for Mizzy to die here. Um, 50-50 for Mischievous to die, or 100% for Raichu? I'm taking Raichu every time. I'm sorry, guys. Dude, ghost types are too good. A ghost type alone allows you to stall out so many Pokemon that are otherwise like really hard to fight. A lot of Pokemon in this game only have like normal fighting and ghost type moves because that's usually really good coverage. So you can just PP stall them by switching between a normal and a ghost type. It's way too valuable here, I'm sorry. Raichu's gotta go. Content? This isn't even, no, 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 I, 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 I really can't. I really have to, I really have to do this. It's also not over if I do this switch. He might get an AP boost. Which would, um... Yeah, no, that would suck. See you later, Raichu. Yep, here we go. This is it. Um, back to Mence, I think. No, I think it's... If he... I don't know if he boosted yet, right? If he boosts, this has to be Mizzy. So that Donphan gets another chance to kill this. Oh, I know he didn't boost. It's whatever. Okay. Nice crit. Didn't need it, though. He was defense dropped. <laughs> the defense drop actually worked out really well for us. That was super lucky. That could have been really bad otherwise. I lost Mizzy too. But, alas! Taint and Liza will fall. An attempt set 151. Plow is on with... What is this, 17 deaths? At this point? And like... The death box has like a Gengar as like the only good Pokemon. It's like actually insane. And like Hitmachan and Makuhita, I guess. Is it 19 deaths? That's crazy. So now what awaits us? Seafloor Cavern, the Archie fight. Hopefully a good muck to blow up on Archie. That's gonna be really important. Um, Probably us blowing up Quillfish and maybe Golem. 
on uh, Juan. We'll see about that. Um, and then it's to the Elite Four. I kind of already have the Elite Four team planned out. Um, the I actually think the biggest thing that can go wrong, the biggest thing that can kill the run, is the upcoming Starmie double battle. <laughs> Or the, the upcoming maxi double battle. And um, me not catching Dusclops. <laughs> <laughs>